Have you ever wondered how AI will impact your job in the nearest future? If you've never had a thought about it, then you might just want to think about that. Several years ago, there was the invention of computers. And with the invention of computers came along lots of businesses like the computer business centers. In Nigeria, for example, we had lots of computer business centers within few miles from each other. And this means that lots of people were employed in these businesses. For example, we had typists employed, we had computer programmers, computer engineers, and lots of other jobs that serviced these sectors. We also had the invention of mobile phones. And you know, when mobile phones were first invented, it was very pricey and that meant that only the rich had access to them. As mobile phone continued to gain popularity and acceptance by people worldwide, the price of mobile phone decreased. That meant that lots of people had access to mobile phones. Because mobile phone was so limited in its functions, these computer business centers profited from that. That meant that if you had a mobile phone and you needed to browse through the internet, you would have to visit any of these business centers to gain access to the internet to do whatever job you want to do to type your documents to print them out to do whatever you basically want to do with a computer you just had a mobile phone just to make calls only and then came the game changer the smartphones and you know with the invention of mobile phone also came lots of other businesses like the recharge card production and sales business and as mobile phone was initially expensive that meant that those who did not have access to mobile phone who needed to use a mobile phone had to go to phone booth and that was another business for people who had phone booths so people went to phone booths to make phone calls but as mobile phone gained popularity and people had access to it lots of people had phones and they could make calls from the comfort of their home and smartphones also resulted in these computer business centers losing their jobs because most people could do what they could do on a computer using their smartphones and as technology continued to advance people no longer needed to go to a particular shop to work miles to purchase recharge card to gain access to network services today people can easily recharge their phones or their sim cards from the comfort of their home using their banks using their network providers mobile app or by gaining access to their network providers website life has become so easy and with these inventions that means that lots of people have lost their jobs and also lost their businesses and the list continues but the question still remains how many of these people who have lost jobs or businesses have been able to reskill and reposition themselves to something else different from what they used to do and how easy and fast has that been and do you know that currently there is a revolution the ai generation artificial intelligence the amount of change we're going to see over the next five years ten years will dwarf everything that's happened over the last 30. the people who were writing software particularly at the lower end unless you you're doing right. these advanced things they're gone so either software works for you or you work for software and once the software takes over you're gone Right. So unless you understand that, you don't understand that the nature of work is changing, the nature of employment is going to change, right? If you're one of the bigger companies, you already know this. And in talking to a lot of these big companies, they know their workforces, you know, and given the supply and demand of stocks, the supply is shrinking right. and the demand is going up just as the economy grows. That's probably good news for stocks over the long term, but it's bad news for employment. And so when you start getting that massive amount of disruption in employment, what do you do? The whole nature of employment is going to change. There aren't manufacturing jobs coming back. There aren't more coal mining jobs coming back. No matter what you do to the EPA, they are going to be, a lot of these jobs are going to be gone. Now, the World Economic Forum in 2023 predicted that by the next five years, about 85 million jobs would have been lost to artificial intelligence globally. And they have come up with a list of jobs that would likely be lost to artificial intelligence 
changes in the next five years and some of these jobs include data entry clerks administrative and executive secretaries accounting bookkeeping and payroll clerks security guards building caretakers and housekeepers cashiers and ticket clerks material recording and stock keeping clerks assembly and factory workers postal service clerks bank tellers and related clerks shopper sales persons telemarketers client information and customer service workers business service and administration managers door-to-door -door sales workers news and street vendors and related workers and this list is inexhaustible and is not restricted to these jobs only the question is is your job or your future job or your dream job on this list as I do not like to be a bearer of bad news I've got good news for you and the good news is why the widespread of AI will cause the loss of about 85 million jobs it is also going to result in the creation of 97 million jobs globally according to the World Economic Forum great isn't it why this is exciting there are also some jobs that artificial intelligence cannot replace and some of these jobs are agricultural equipment operators heavy truck and bus drivers vocational education teachers mechanics and machinery repairers business development professionals building frame and related trades workers university and higher education teachers electrotechnology engineers sheet and structural metal workers, molders and welders, special education teachers, livestock or delivery service drivers, digital transformation specialists, construction laborers, sustainability specialists, digital marketing and strategy specialists. Wow, isn't that exciting as well? With all of these, the question is, if your job falls under the jobs that AI might likely be replacing in the next five years what are you going to do about it ai is here to stay there is nothing we can do about it and it is rapidly evolving it is advancing and it is gaining acceptance globally rapidly but if your job falls under the list of jobs that artificial intelligence might be replacing what are you going to do about it so what you need to do right now is for you to start reading up about ai artificial intelligence if you don't have any information about artificial intelligence this is the time you need to gain information so you cannot be left behind gather every information you can gather about ai read up ai and gain enough information about it as much as possible secondly you need to start thinking about reskilling if your job or the dream job you have falls on that list of jobs that artificial intelligence might be replacing in the nearest future you need to start thinking about other ideas other job opportunities and you need to start building new skills so that you will not be without job when AI finally takes over your current job or your future job please do not take this likely do not take this for granted because change they say is constant and the third assignment i have for you is if you enjoyed this video or you gained any value from it and you have not yet subscribed to this channel please hit on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you can be notified each time we upload a new video and don't forget to share this video also with your friends family colleagues neighbors so they can also benefit from it and lastly what do you think about artificial intelligence do you think that it is good to make robots do you think that artificial intelligence will benefit humans in any way and do you think that artificial intelligence is going to be causing more harm than good to us what do you think please do not forget to leave your comment and your thoughts in the comment section below so we can all learn from each other and thank you thank you so much for watching this video today and until I see you next time do not forget to take good care of yourself and have the best day ever thank you and bye